The Sunbet Poker Tour 2024 starts right now. Welcome to the Sunbed Poker Tour. It is Sunday, it is Club Champs Day, and it is also Super High Roller Day. It is a very exciting day in the poker room. Two very broad spectrums of players here. Super busy, yeah, absolutely. Incredible turnout from everybody here. Um, shootout format, you've got to win your table. If you win your table, you're instantly into the money with your crew. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very, very big welcome to the South African Club Championship, the first edition of 2024. And I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful turnout. 12 teams, 108 players. I think let's just give yourselves a last round of applause for turning up. It's absolutely great, the atmosphere, great. And the way the teams have all dressed up in that, phenomenal. Everything about it, great. Huh? Great, great teams, great spirit. Um, I've seen the Oaks coming in, the entrances are amazing. The guys are dressed to the T. It's been lots of fun. And Tommy, who made your hats today? Um, my fiance, uh, Anzit Brinsler, she made them, uh, put a lot of effort into it. How did you come up with the ideas of the hats that you made um, for your team today? Mostly Pinterest, to be honest. <laughs> if you Google ideas and put them together, and they came together quite well, actually. Yeah, I think it complemented the out outfits perfectly. Who are you rooting for in the field today? Obviously Team Chess, any of them, <laughs> but mostly my fiancé. So I'm here with uh, the ever-impressive Rudolf Ferri. Rudolf, tell me what it took to get this team together today. Well, it's quite interesting. Our club's name is in Afrikaans Circus Dio, which is Clowns. And today we came as superheroes and villain, villains. You know, it's a sub theme of that. So it's quite exciting. We brought for the first time three teams from Bloom, the smallest place in South Africa, team-wise, and uh, yet we were the most players. But look, we're just here for good fun. It's good people. To me, this is my favorite event, believe it or not. Uh, and we're not here to win it. We're just here to have fun. And that's important what's poker for. It's the amount of fun, the camaraderie, the friendship. Today, for me, this is a highlight of this week, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so I don't have a pressure on them, but we're going for the three-peat. Eh? We've uh, never lost this event. Uh, pretty excited. I mean, actually, I just want to even go away from it. This is an unbelievable event. I don't know if you guys like to watching this. This is like what poker's about. It's Oaks. You have their local game, their home game, the small little club coming out together, having a draw. Huge fan of this event. I was actually said to Giona, still don't know what the people are, but I hope we, that's what I want to see. Like, it's awesome. You guys do a great job. Well, it's simple. Um, diamonds are forever, so we have to win. I mean, there's nobody that can break a diamond, am I right? <laughs> so we're on that tip today, yeah. And uh, tell me, what did you think about that whole entrance um, and the whole tournament as a, uh, as a vibe? I think it's lacquer. I think it's just fun to, you know, I think it's a more enjoyable type of format. We, if we're playing the, the main event, everybody's serious, so everybody's chatting and, you know, a little bit of banter and then we enjoy that form of the game. So the guys that don't do it, just come and join next time. We want to grow this thing. I think this is just about fun. It's all about fun. Love the banter, love the dress code. Some guys really went all out here and uh, Rudolph's team, I think. Well, kudos to them, you know, I love the, the, drum, the drum beats. Very nice and I, I hope the rest of the day is fun. Like Marvin iterated, it's good to have more people come through and make this a bigger, more fun event. Poker is growing in, in South Africa and we'd love to see four more teams. Yeehaw! <laughs> awesome so far, very cool. Uh, yeah, but it's always good. It's always fun. And tell me, what's your strategy going to be like going into a shootout format like this? More ass than class. <laughs> Your hands together for our team from Ross, Ralph and Ron, 
didn't, I didn't expect it, but a pleasant surprise. It's awesome to see you out there. Play, play for Monster Jam. <laughs> it's awesome to see you out there with the team and having some cards uh, shown today and you get to uh, show your skills out there. Tell me, what is your strategy going into the shootout? When? <laughs> So the team name was Circus Dira. So last year we did the circus animals with the clown outfits. And this year they said they want to be superheroes. But they're a bit, uh, three teams, so you said can't have superheroes. So they're superheroes, villains and sidekicks. But with a little twist, so we added a little bit of the clown inspiration and all of that. So that's how we got to the... <laughs> so we actually just played around with everything. And tell me how many hours of work went into this? We had two weeks to do this. Uh, we probably slept about eight hours in total, yes. Hence the dark circles, yes. Um, Nick, thanks to all the viewers. It's, it's, it's an occasion that one looks forward to and I think it's about the fourth team event that we had. And every time we try to improve and grow, and grow as you can see, there's enormous growth with the team, the outfits, the effort that gets put in, but most importantly, poker is the end result. And I think for me, the talented pool here, everybody wants to be part of Sunbed. So what I'm saying is I'm here for my guys. Everybody wants to be part of our Sunset the 24th. We're waiting for you. Uh, on behalf of the donkey Dodgers out there, um, tell us a little bit of your experience here so far for this. I'm all donkey for two minutes. I'm going to ignore you for today. And uh, what is your strategy going into this uh, shootout format? Playing with my gut feeling today. That's it. <laughs> Um, it's a scenario of cliches, but on this occasion they're all mostly true, you know. No weaker teams. I think a lot of people are playing a lot of different tournaments on the circuit, so this is one where they can maybe let their hair down a little bit. Be a dash less serious. Um, the vibe has shown, it's been evident out there on the patio. The vodkas are flowing. Um, it's now quarter past one, and long may they flow regardless of the result. Oh, geez, it's just a little bit of fun I had about it. 16 or 18 months ago I started thinking about a thing like this to be actually to be honest with you I was invited to a club event where all the clubs had put something together and I thought maybe we need to just formalize this thing and really make it fun and funky and 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 really get it get some action behind it built a trophy floating trophy this is the third one of it um, it's an absolute jewel it's one of the few events that I get to just play in and 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 be with the team from our perspective Nobody's chosen by me or anybody on our staff. Uh, they purely have to win their way in, so anybody has a chance to get into the MJPT team. And, uh, you know, I think club poker is just pretty important to say for the poker circuit. So, you know, this is a good way for them to, to expose players that have never come to a big an event or an arena of this magnitude to come and enjoy some, some fun, funky, funky stuff, you know?